Okay, everybody, time for some chemical and physical change demos. So here's one demo. I have a piece of paper. I want you to think about it. I want you to describe what you see. So make some observations. This is what we're starting with. And then I'm gonna change it. Ready? Okay, so you're gonna write down what you just saw, what just happened, and what we had before and what we have after. And then you need to decide whether that's a chemical change or a physical change for tearing the paper. Well, now let's do something else with this piece of paper. Let's take it and let's light it on fire. So this is gonna cause it to change as well. So you're writing some observations down. I'll bring it closer, not that you probably haven't seen paper on fire before, but still. Write some observations, what do you see? If you were in class, maybe there'd be some hearing and some, some, some smelling, but you get what you see here on the video. So what do you see with this change where I'm burning the paper? Is that a chemical change or a physical change? Here's another chance for you to decide whether something is a chemical change or a physical change. I have some baking soda. I'm gonna put it in this beaker. And then to the baking soda, which is here in this beaker, so I guess for observation purposes, what do you see? I'm going to add some vinegar. So I'm gonna pour some vinegar in. What happens? What evidence do you have that this is a chemical change or a physical change? What are your observations and what can you learn from that? What can you infer from that? For this next demo, I'm gonna pour some potassium iodide solution into this test tube. So make a couple of observations. What do you notice about your potassium iodide solution? And then to that solution, I'm going to add a second chemical. So I'm gonna mix another chemical called lead nitrate. And I want you to observe what happens when I do so. So you should be noting what you see, what your observations are, and then make an inference. Does this set of observations indicate that a chemical change happened or a physical change happened? And how do you know? What's the evidence that you're using to make that statement or come to that conclusion? For this next demo, I have a piece of magnesium ribbon. So what magnesium ribbon is, it's a very thin, narrow piece of magnesium metal. So make some observations. What do you see with this magnesium ribbon? And then for the first change, we're gonna do two with this magnesium piece of, or excuse me, with this piece of magnesium ribbon. For our first change, I'm gonna cut it. Oops, it jumped. So here's what I have when I'm done. Was that a chemical change or was that a physical change? What do you observe? And what is your inference from that? Now, for the second part of this series, I'm gonna take that magnesium ribbon and I'm gonna burn it. So first, I'm gonna light my Bunsen burner. And now I'm gonna take this piece of magnesium ribbon and I'm gonna place it in the Bunsen burner flame until it ignites. So make some observations, what just happened? And then as best I can, I'm gonna bring this close to the camera. 
I want you to see what we have when we're done. So you can see on my watch glass here, I have the magnesium ribbon that started, some of the other piece, and then I have some of the product right here. So you'll see it's this, this stuff right here, kind of a white crunchy powder. And that's the product of the burning of the magnesium ribbon. So this is what we started with was some magnesium ribbon. And then this is what happens after I burn it. So observations, please. And then make an inference. Was this a chemical change or a physical change? And why do you think that? One more for you here, or another one. Um, I have a cracker. So you can make some observations about my cracker. And then what if I were just to break the cracker? Observations about the products. And then was this a chemical change or a physical change? Why do you think that? What's your inference? You can take this a step further. What if I eat the cracker? I know you can't directly observe the products, but think about it. Is that change a chemical change or a physical change? What about the chewing? What about the digesting? Each of those pieces, chemical change or physical change?